Okay, so now that we've drawn these four reference planes to establish the size of the main building, we can draw some walls. So this is where you probably just want to spend a bit of time getting used to uh, where things are with this tool. There's a little bit more to it than the reference plane tool. You can see, yep, so you can see just like the previous page, it shows you where the tool is on the ribbon. It's just here, first button after the uh, modify button under architecture. And just so you know, when you see a button like this that has an arrow on it, you don't need to click there. A lot of people confuse themselves by clicking on that arrow and then trying to work out which option you need to use. If you see a button like this that has an arrow, look for a line dividing the button into two and you can click above that and that'll just use the default option. So you don't need to decide on any of those sub-options. Just click above the line and that will start the wall tool. Yep. And then it should look like this. So I'll do that again. So here's the wall button. I'm not going to click on the arrow. I'm going to click above that line, just on the picture of the wall. Yep. And now you can see it's opened up a new panel. And this is standard in Revit. So most of the tools work this way. They'll open up a new panel for that tool. And then you'll see in the notes, quite often it will say, go to the options bar. I've skipped a little bit about the project browser. I'll come back to that in a second. But you can see there below that it says, go to the options bar. Right here, go to the options bar and then change the location line to something else. So where's the options bar? It's not an easy question because it's not labelled. But it is called the options bar. I, I, I did give you a picture earlier that shows you where it is, but I don't expect you to all remember that. So it's this one here, the green bar along the top of the screen. It can be set down the bottom of the screen, so just keep an eye out. If you don't see it there, it'll be down the bottom. So that green bar only comes up for some tools. Right, some tools need a lot of extra options, so they give you this bar to set those things. So just keep an eye out for that. When you see it, you normally should be looking at those options and making sure they're right. And so here, there's location line. And it's on wall center line. I want finish face exterior. And if you look at those options, you can maybe tell that they're going to let us draw on one side of the wall or the other side. So finish face exterior is what we want. And then if you've read the notes, you'd see there's another option you need to choose there. You need to set the height to something. Now, height is just before lo location line. But just watch out there. You don't need to change that height option. You can choose height or depth there. You need to leave that on height, but then choose the option next to it to set the height to whatever you choose. And in this case, it's level one. And so what we're saying is we want to go from level, so from ground floor, that's the level we're drawing on. And if you ever want to find out the level you're drawing on, just look in your project browser. Don't change anything there, but you can see over on the left, it'll say floor plans. Ground floor should be bold, and that tells you you're drawing in that level. And now I can just click on to the, uh, oh sorry, no, not yet. So I need to do one more thing. So I've set the options. We've got finish face exterior. I've got the height set to level one. But I haven't set the wall type yet. And that's actually just before in the notes. You can see here it says you need to set generic 200 mil wall or generic 200 mil is the, the wall type. And you do that in properties. So you'll see properties over on the left. You've got the project browser with all your levels. And then the properties panel has things like the location line, base constraint, base offset, top constraint, top offset. You'll see all those properties there, hopefully. And at the very top, you'll see the wall type. So it's just going to have a picture of your wall, and it'll say the name. It's probably double brick 270. And if you click there, then you'll see all the other preloaded wall types, and you can choose generic 200 mil.
So make sure you found that wall type. When you select it now, it'll have different properties. So that's it now. I can draw by clicking onto the intersection of those reference planes and then making sure you go clockwise. Doesn't matter where you start, but you need to go clockwise from that point onto all four corners. Pretty simple in the end once you've done it. That's right, when you're done, press escape. Yep, that's good. <laughs>